Ooh, everything's running a lot faster now that Steam has been told to shut up. Uh, right, train 170 arrived from Washington DC a few minutes late this morning, so load your passengers now and we'll depart as soon as possible. I'm quite excited. Been, we've, we only ever ran the HHP8 once previously, and the scenario crashed. Not scenario's fault, the, uh, it was a resource issue, I think. Um, so uh, I'm hoping that uh, this will be better. Oh, the Steam Suggestions Forum. Oh, okay. Your best bet, Smeagol, is to publish things on the suggestion, on the, um, the form I've got now. Um, I've just posted the link onto the chat. Oh, ACS 64 pulling in. Change the title. Excellent idea. There you go. All passengers aboarded. Doors are secure. Highball for the next scheduled stop at New Rochelle. We've got the right lights on. Probably should have checked that first. Right now I do. Wait for all the coaches to take up slack. You forgot to put water in. Oh no! <laughs> Moggy, it's not so much that they're old, um, but they were highly unreliable. Smeagol, it's a form. A Google form. Details are on that link above there, the goo.gl link. If you click on that and just fill in the details on the web page that comes up and it will submit it into my spreadsheet. Coming out of Penn Station at the moment. What's our task list? We are just going to New Rochelle and then Stamford. Yeah, lots of horses, soldier. Okay, this is an 8,000 horsepower locomotive. This is the New York to New Haven line, Chicago Rail fan, but we're only going as far as Stamford. Going under the uh, under the river at the moment. Uh, Debright, the Acela is a um, a complete train. So if you look at the end cars, they've got flat back, and then they've got the end. Whereas this is a locomotive, so this can be used uh, in other places that are locomotive. So it could be used to haul. The, it's in fact it's used to haul the normal coaches. Whereas the Acela is a complete train set. Essentially, they were modelled. They are, you know, the same family of train. The HHP is a loco version of the Acela. Which is why they're different. In fact, the cabs aren't exactly the same. If you look around the cab, you'll find there are a number of differences. Um, but it is it's the subtle differences. C 
60 limit still, got 45 as we come out of the tunnel. 20 as we navigate the junctions. Still getting green lights, which is excellent. Oh, this is behaving itself so much nicer. Who'd have thunk it? Train boy, if you're using the pump cart, you do have brakes. You press the forward slash key, the one on the right hand side of the keyboard. Thank you, Smeagol. I will take a look later. Bring the train down to 45. Moggy approved wiping enabled. I know, it's really frustrating when you do that, isn't it? When you, you get frustrated with yourself, you're just like, I can't believe I did that! When you run out of water in the train because you forgot to put any in. <laughs> right. 30 limit. Suppression until we get into 30, and then we release the brakes. What's approved wipers? It's Moggy approved wipers. Uh, it's raining and we are not in a tunnel, therefore it is approved. Guessing that's probably a 15 limit. So see, yeah, on this line, it's probably a 20. Penzi, Penzi's signalling is different. Twenty limit. Full stream of train spotting. That'd be interesting. A possibility. I think people will actually. No, as they, I th I've always felt that one of those on the stream is probably enough, but it'd be interesting to see what people think about doing a whole stream of train spotting scenarios. I think if I do, the problem is uh, if I do that without any driving, then there's no chance really of me failing, and therefore probably everyone will get bored very quickly. <laughs> Still got restriction up here. Sorry, what I mean by Penzi signaling Agseek is this this side rather than the Metro North. It's um, this fifth instead of restricting being twenty um, fifteen, which it is on Metro North. Here, this side with the color with the color light signals, the signals um, restricting is twenty. Vancouver lad, there are no signals on this route, um, on the Metro North section of the route. So if I switch to the map real quick, from all of this line up here, down along here, you will not really see much in the way of signals at all. This bit, you will. So I'm down here at the moment. Um, all the signals are in the cab. There are no signals anywhere else. Got a green light now. Chicago uh, rail fan, there are tons of um, train spotting scenarios on Steam Workshop, they're identical.
Right, track speed limit 60 miles per hour, clear signal, it's time to go. Cheers, Amarillan. Fifty limit coming up. Vancouver lad, that's because I'm on the section of the route that does have signals. What well, I'll show you it when we get there, because once we get to New Rochelle, we'll be back in a section that doesn't have signals. Um, but at the moment, this section of the route does have signals, but it's only the small bit between Penn Station and um, New Rochelle. Every other bit of the route, which is the majority of the route, has got um, in-cab only signalling. Fifty limit here. Why is there a third rail on part of the tracks? I mean, I, I'm assuming you mean. Do you mean a line down the middle, or do you mean because there is a part of this route which is third rail? Uh, over by Grand Central Station. It switches in the area of Pelham. Still on clear signal. Accelerating to 60. Where in the cab of the signals? It's this bit here. Vancouver lad, if you look on my YouTube channel, there is a tutorial for how to drive the ACS 64, and as well as how to drive the ACS 64, I also cover the signaling system because that's relate relevant to that. So if you have a look at that tutorial, you will figure it out. Do you mean there are no track warring lights? Um, the only lights you see in the on the Metro North section are protecting, inter they're what they call interlocking signals. So where you've got junctions, you get lights to stop you because the normal signaling system can't stop you. It can only tell you to go very slowly, at which point you're looking out the window and deciding when to stop on that, on that basis. Cheers, Moggy, thanks for joining. Um, <clears throat> so they will let multiple trains in a single block with the Metro North signalling. Agseek, this section of line has um, is it's a supplement. Once you get onto Metro North, there are no physical signals, other than the interlocking signals. New Rochelle, 12 miles. Got a 50 limit coming up. Going over Hellgate Bridge. Oh, you're talking about a different line. Sorry, Axie. Right, we'll get 60 in a minute. Something like no, I think it's um, I can't remember what the uh, I don't think you can get a stop signal in the cab, Vancouver lad. Certainly not on the Metro North. You can't. Like I said, you don't ever get stopped on the Metro North lines. The way that it works is if there is a train in front of you, you get a restricting aspect, um, which is two reds on the top on its own. I think, like we had earlier on in this journey, and then um, you proceed at 15 miles per hour, and um, at that time, 
you are basically on your own recognizance, looking through the window, stopping as soon as you see something. But you get a, a, up to two clear blocks at restricting before you enter, before you'll encounter something. So you're going really slow for quite a long time before you actually will ever encounter another train. I don't think this signalling system, because I wrote this signalling system, so I don't think it it does all the restricting stuff, but the game doesn't really like more than one train in a block, so I don't think it really does that aspect of it. But all the aspects you'd normally expect to see up here is what gets displayed down here. And then here you've got signal speed and track speed. So if the signal is, is enforcing a track speed, a signal speed limit, it shows up here and you can see what that, that limit is. Couple of SD40s. Right, we're going to get a short, short blast at 70. Well, that's not nearly seen worth the effort, but all right. <laughs> Near Rochelle, nine point five miles away. Debrake, we'll get a new 100 mile per hour for new per new Rochelle. Yeah. Didn't feel like running diesels tonight, Exeek. Oh, it was more that um, I think three of the scenarios tonight. One of them, the uh, fish one, I wanted to run. Um, BMJ Epic wanted me to run his ICE scenario, which has been on the list for quite a while. And um, uh, I can't remember what. Oh, and I fancied running the HHP8 because we've never run one, uh, not not uh, not to the point of uploading it to the uh, website, so to YouTube. So um, that was kind of why these ones got chosen. Seventy limit. Twitch profile picture that's done in your settings, Mr. Train Cow. far but brightly anyway. 7.3 miles. Once again we're dropping to 60. We've got 6.8 miles to go. We're still running about a minute 18 seconds uh, behind schedule. It's Qwerty Afro. Welcome to the stream, mate. How does the cruise control work? I can't remember. I think essentially you set the cruise control with this one. And then that moves the green blob around and you make sure you put it to the right place. 
Ron Riddle, any news on the creation of any Merseyside routes? I, cause I can't, I'm afraid I can't talk about anything we, that the company is, is arisen doing. You have to wait for official announcements about that, unfortunately. This is quite funny. Turn the screens off. It's not a particularly useful feature, but... <laughs> There's a cruise enable button somewhere. Right, we're slowing down to forty five. Apologies, Vancouver, I can't talk about anything that isn't officially announced. That's not my information to give out, that's dovetails. Next to the can heater button on the bottom left. <laughs> Keep losing the uh, track I have. Ah, oh, main cruise control, there it is. Right, so we're about to get the hundred, so let's put that up to the hundred with the Y key. You can see your current power notch here. Right, and then if I switch the cruise control on, that's now on C. So the train is now taken over control of that. It doesn't matter what I do with the power handle, it just gets on with it. Oh no, it is based on the power handle. I'm lying! Three point one miles. miles an hour, this is getting a bit faster. <coughs> Slowing down for this 45. Ratchet got, got paid today, must resist the temptation to throw it at video games. <laughs> Did I tell you there's a sale on? <laughs> well, that accelerated a bit faster than I was anticipating it would. Oh well. Kiss goodbye to any sort of on time arrival.
So it's like driving with AFB, it just feels wrong. Five. Right, we're coming up to New Rochelle now, so now you're going to see the signals disappear. As we cross over here, the signals have now changed. We're now in um, New um, Metro North territory and over speeding as usual. I think this one's got similar sounds to the Acela. I don't remember what the source of the Acela sounds are. Right, so we're stopping here. Late, as per usual. time you'd like to stop. Right, so cab signalling, we've just changed over to a 45 limit medium aspect. Let's open the doors. Right, so what you can see is this is a an interlocking signal. And you won't see very many of those. Um, and generally you'll see them in clusters across there. When you come along down here, you won't find them. But what actually they are all the signals, if we go down a little bit further I'll show you what one of the signals actually look like, the way they've been done. These when it says you've got a signal, it's one of these things that looks like a TPWS grid. Right, all aboard highball for Stanford, so if we watch as we go along noting we have got a 30 track speed and a medium aspect signal the flashing green all that's doing when you see one of those interlocking signals that's all it can do is say do what it says in the cab or stop that's all those through those actual lighted lit signals that you've just seen can do now the reason you're not seeing this one that we're just about to go over is because it's facing the other way if you imagine signals have a direction but there's another one here coming up look so we're limited to 30 so I'm going to take off the uh, cruise control at this point. We're now on 45-45, so we're also being held by the medium aspect signal. look at the point we see this is when you'll see the uh, grids on the ground there it is so that's what the, this is showing up as the signals and when you go over them it changes the cab signaling so we're now on track speed limit 45 but we've got a clear aspect so we can get back up we can go to 45 and we can follow what the track speed signals are saying so that's now gone up to 50 it's now gone up to 70 get the 80 just in time I think yeah <laughs> we got clipped <laughs> cheers later Smeagol
So you can see we're about to go over another one of these, so we keep an eye on the signal aspect as we go over it. Now you should get an alarm if it goes down. Nothing happened, so that's good. Train boy, you want a short outside look? There you go. How did I do so bad then, train boy? You say you're handling it better than me, what do you mean? He couldn't type afterwards. Ah, oh, it's just theatre. <laughs> Got another uh, signal control coming up. This is not quite how the real signalling system works, but it's about the closest we can get it in the game. It's got the right feel, which is what matters. These grids on the ground in the real signalling system are actually for a thing called ACSES signalling. Yeah, we've got passenger view in the uh, Amfleets. We're still on a clear aspect. Do I have a tutorial on route creation? No, I don't have any. I've got some bits and pieces on various aspects, little aspects of route creation, but I've not got a proper route creation tutorial at all. Seventy limit coming up. Stanford in twelve miles. Fifty mile brow limit coming up. We've got also got another couple of signals coming up. We may be switching lines, in which case um, we'll get a um, reduction for the. Any time you change lines, you will get a reduction. You'll definitely get a reduction in aspect. problem there. That was the DA uh, alerter going off. See whether we get anything else showing up. Nine point four miles to Stanford.
Yeah, the springy action on the uh, AM fleets, Jeff. <laughs> Going over a signal. Still no change, good. Keeping clear aspects, that's what we need. Get a bit more speed up, and then we have to slow down for this forty five. We're nearly finished, mate. Got about eight minutes to go, I think. The signal hasn't changed, still on clear. Night, MC6443. Good to have you with us on the stream. Don't think Matt can either. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What well, film you've been watching, Twarok? Right, up to 70. Six and a half miles to go. Vancouver lads, here you go. If the speed is 70 and the next speed is 50, how does the driver know when to slow down if he can't, if he, uh... Okay, so, if you go over a signal... <laughs> uh, if you go over a signal, and it, all of a sudden you're, you get a signal aspect, so let's say that drops to medium 45, what will happen, cheers cop plop out, is that um, you'll get an alarm go off in the cab, you then have to put the brake into suppression and hit the acknowledge button. That's all you need to do, and then the train will slow down. Once you get to 45, you release the brake, and that's it. This train, the way this signalling system works, like I'm in suppression at the moment, the way the signalling system works, you effectively overspeed at every signal that reduces your speed, but it's all built into the system. I couldn't believe that was how it worked at first because it just seems counterintuitive. Cheers, Rubku. But I'm told that's how it works, so that's how it's implemented. I couldn't see any other way of making it work if there's no physical signals. Still on a clear aspect. Takes some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, I even put a key sequence on the ACS 64. If you do the at symbol, um, then it will snap the brake straight to suppression. Cheers, Ron. See you later. Back up to 70 again. 
four and a half miles. Yeah, I think I got your drift, Twerok. See, this is an interlocking signal, which would help protect if that junction was set the wrong way. What's the default for suppression? The key is the at symbol. But to be honest, as long as you just move the brake, move the brake lever into suppression, which you can do once you get the hang of it, you can do it quite quickly. Um, it doesn't matter how you get to suppression. So it's called suppression because it means um, it's suppressing the alarm. What's coming out on the 5th of Feb, Dave? Thought you said you remapped it. No, 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 I added it to the ACS-64 because I, I programmed the ACS-64. Cheers, Vancouver. I hope that was useful. Like I said, watch the ACS-64 tutorial. I cover it all in a lot more detail on there. Three miles. Twarog, you really should pick this route up, you know? And get the Acela too. Acela's good fun. Oh, one well, from Mr. Manning. Dad's Army, isn't it? Yes, I did see that announcement. Or trailer, even. Right, back up to 70. Two and a half miles. You've already got it. Yeah, well if you bought TS 2015 Twerog, then you will have it, because it was the one of the included routes. There's Stanford up ahead. Decelerating to the 50 limit. You got a 2015 upgrade. Well, that wouldn't have given you the route then. You must have bought it at some point then, Twerog. But <laughs> <sighs> it's a good route. You should drive it. I'm not. I'm not biased. There's another green interlocking signal. Flashing green means follow what the cab's doing. quite funny I heard a story that there's a third aspect that those signals can display which is I think it's red lights doing that or something and um, you probably didn't see that doing this yeah so they're alternating up and down and what that means is that um, it's it's like an alert situation and it uh, it generally scares the living daylights out of the drivers and actually what's normally they use it for, the dispatcher uses it because they've been spending the last little while trying to get hold of the driver and the driver's not answering the uh, the, ra the radio um, so they give them a, a, duff, a, a, a signal that makes them panic so they, they ring, in the ra ring in and say, whoa, what's going on here? Ah, oh, right, now you've answered <laughs> Oh, the route you want to pick up is North Jersey Coastline, oh, I got you I think there's a sail on to <laughs> You're going to go broke.
I was wondering where the loco was. I'm sure I pressed 2. Scheduled departure time here at Stanford is 9.18, but for the moment have some hot joe and take a quick break. Boom! I did forget the bell, didn't I? Duh. Oh, it's not in the sale. Ah, oh, well. Right, there you go, folks. That's all for this evening. Or this morning now. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow at uh, 9.30, and uh, we'll have a bit more fun. I haven't worked out what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure I haven't figured out by the time we start streaming. Don't forget, there's a sale on at the moment. 50% off select DLC. Go and have a look. See if there's anything else you want to top up on your collection. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Trains in life.